electronic. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Civilization V. I'm your host, Gilvin. The new electronic interdependence recreates the world in the image of a global village. You're here. Anyway, that's going to give me extra votes in the World Congress. I'm up to seven now. Not bad, but I can, you know, definitely make sure he doesn't pass. Uh, anyway, we actually have an ideology, finally. Someone else has adopted the freedom ideology. Still. Uh, I have to hope that they uh, can't pull me out of here yet. I need only two more turns as order. After that, if it comes down to it, I can switch. It won't matter anymore. It'll be done. Seventy happiness, but possess too few attendants in this new tree. It'd actually be enough that I could buy it with gold. That's a genius idea. Let's do it. <laughs> Good news, everyone. We're going to win in two turns. Because, you know what? There's a tier three thing for freedom that lets me buy parts with gold. And I'm going to hope that a spaceship part costs less than five grand. Let's abuse the shit out of these great engineers. This is it. Like I said, I'm, I'm going for record set here. On my first game. 338. Should be the theoretical turn that I win. Or I could wait an extra four turns and keep communism. Uh, may seem trivial, but I think I may have to keep communism. I just can't bring myself to swap to freedom. I have to prove and exist as the uh, world's communist power. Oh well. We are well on our way to cultural victory at this rate anyway. Um. Mm. We're up to 13%. Um. Anyone who's over 30 at this point will uh, take hef heftiness and uh, hefty penalties for trying to not be order. It'll actually neutralize the uh, World Congress effect. Alright, so next turn the Apollo program finishes. And we are going to basically instantly assemble five-sixths of the spaceship if I did this right. If I've understood everything so far right. Then in 1918, in the year of our Lord, 1918, on November 11th, the Apollo program will begin. And five-sixths of a inter interstellar spaceship will be constructed. Yep. The end of it's while we were ending World War One, I've managed to lead a civilization to the point in which I'm going into interstellar space. <laughs> like that's pretty badass. Um how are we doing in research? Like we're we're pretty much done the research tree at this point. Yeah, we're not going to get anywhere else. Because after the Apollo program's done, we'll have to take four turns to construct something. That's it. Four turns. That's it. So even if they all... Even if the entire world declares war on me, I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to say, Alright, you have four turns to capture Alexandria. Good luck. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so yeah, we're, we're near there. Um, Apollo program. We have completed it. What was your previous route? Please resume your previous route. Gail Dremuse completed the Apollo program. 
So now I should be able to... Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, five turns. We'll build one of the boosters ourselves. You. Um... Reproduction. Oh, he gives exactly 750, I see. Alright, so we'll add a, uh, three boosters. A cockpit, an engine, and a stasis chamber. Alright. Reproduction. Oh, it's still gonna take at least one turn for each of them. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, I suppose. Do nothing this turn. Next turn. Any chance we're getting a uh, great engineer, huh? Great merchants. Great engineer. 48 turns. So in short, no. Alright, so start assembling the spaceship then. Up to, up to. We'll at least get nuclear fusion then. Um, I'm gonna go up here for it. Damn it! Like, there we go. Yeah, well, at least we'll get nuclear fusion then. Like I said, I just set the tech tree to future tech because I'd gotten nanotechnology and particle physics. Didn't really matter, I guess. I can build giant death robots after this if I wanted to. Yep. 150 strength, 5 moves. It's a giant freaking death robot. Alright, come on. <clears throat> what the hell's going on here? You're just. Sydney is shooting a bunch of people. Okay. That, that's great. American musketmen. Oh. America is attacking Sydney. How quaint. And with muskets, no less. It's so cute. Meanwhile, I'm about ready to build giant death robots. Add to spaceship. Um, I've completed the SS booster. Enact world leader. I vote for myself. Oh no, wait, I can. Okay, okay, no. I was like, could I downvote like the other guy just to make sure? Because, I mean, this, theoretically, I mean, I could lose here. So. I doubt enough people will vote for him, but here's hoping. Like I said, this is the only thing that could possibly defeat me right now would be the world uniting behind him. I'm very doubtful. I'm really hoping it doesn't happen. But we'll have to see. I, like I said, I don't know if like allies can vote for him or not. Give us ten turns to prepare. We totally will be here in ten turns. We brought. We will totally not have won. <laughs> I'm a. I'm a jerk. Yes, ten turns to prepare. Hmm. All right. So yeah, we're basically producing one spaceship part per turn. That's still pretty decent. Um. So that's not a terrible score, I suppose. 1,392. Probably get a lot higher if I had actually started expanding beyond the medieval era. Cape Town's fighting, that's worrying. Huh. Alright. Alright, barbarians, so 
I'm fairly certain. No world leader chosen. Yeah, everyone voted for themselves, thankfully. I don't think the, uh... I don't think that they can actually vote for each other, which is good. Victory progress. One player has completed the Impala program. <laughs> and has already gotten two boosters. 340, we've got ten turns to go. The worst part is all the production is actually being saved up, it seems, because that was was three, wasn't it? Or I'm just producing 175, yeah. I don't know. Uh, it seems like the production is getting saved up. So it might only take like two turns or even one turn to finish the final piece. Might not even need the sixth. Either way, like I said, my goal is to get out of here by 3.50, and looks like we will. Uh, great, and of course, the screen has to move across continents just to show some combat that I don't care about, because it has absolutely nothing to do with me. Because, as it turns out, I'm going to win, so I don't give a shit. Come on. Yes, I know, the terrain isn't loaded over here. Oh, hey, is that like a, uh, that's, is that infantry? That's barbarian infantry. Huh. You know, I must suck for these guys, because I, this, this, the terrible realization is that the barbarians are probably based off of me, because I'm the highest tech. Anyone up for barbarian giant death robots? Barbarian mechanized infantry, perhaps? <laughs> giant. Barbarian giant death robot. That would be great. I'd just love to see that. Just watch it start dominating. Uh, Japan is now it's the Zulus. That's fine. Like I said, we're not getting another great scientist, so. Oh well. Now we just have to wait. Okay, barbarians. What are you gonna do, infantry? You're gonna flee. Alright. International games update. I'm not even gonna be taking part in that. Because screw you guys, I'm out of here. <laughs> like I don't think they're gonna be able to complete it in time. 33% complete, yeah, no. That was a couple World Congress sessions ago. So yeah, two. So definitely it's actually saving stuff up. Established trade route. Uh, always your previous one. Then continue that. 211. 190 from religion, not bad. Did we ever eventually breach down here? I hate to ask. Because it's taking away from valuable time. We spent winning. Ugh, and it's causing my computer to lag. Bursa is... Confucian? What? Huh, I guess not. I never did breach. Oh well. They defended themselves fair and square, I suppose. Oh well. Let's go uh, put the final booster into the ship. the production. Alright, so we got all three of the boosters now, I believe. Victory progress. Three boosters. Now we just need the cockpit. Uh, the stasis chamber and the engine. The stasis chamber we can build on its own because it should have enough production to do it in one turn. Just kind of saved up. Because, like, that one was done in two turns, so... And then the great engineer can finish it off. Perfect. Like, I, I was under the impression that the AI would, like, union declare war on me or something to stop me from getting the spaceship, but I guess I was wrong. I mean, I don't really even have a standing army at this point.
Like, I'm wondering why the AI would be so afraid of me. I'm wondering why they haven't declared war on me. It makes no sense. Oh, well, whatever. We're, what, three turns away? Yeah, give or take, three turns. Three turns and the spaceship's done. Ah, just nice relaxation. Nice relaxation. Nice and calm. <laughs> we'll have nuclear fusion for it, which is always good. It'd be awesome to start Alpha Centauri with, the, with fusion tech. Uh... Come on. Your turns are all irrelevant at this point. There's nothing you could possibly do to save yourselves. I have won the game. I guess I can maybe actually play with, you know, max turns and stuff. Because it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, hey, somebody entered the modern era. I think we've had a couple people actually manage their way into the modern era so far. I think it was just Siam, though. And uh, I think Persia, or a couple others, perhaps. Hey, wait, that means Napoleon will have to uh, adopt a idea, won't he? Next turn. Yeah, I guess Napoleon will, when you think about it. Because uh, it's either you get to the modern era or three factories. I guess he, didn't ever, I guess he never got three factories. Like I said, we're going to be out of here before a majority of people even choose an ideology. That's hilarious. Processing turn for barbarians. Work has begun on the SS engine. Sugar from Napoleon has ended. Napoleon has entered the modern era. Alright, so tell me then. I guess he didn't have to choose this turn. I guess he'll choose at the start of next turn. What was your original route? And continue it. And, alright, so yeah, that's just gonna finish in one turn. Add that to the spaceship. You do nothing this turn. I move on to next turn. Alright. So we're just going to finish that. Um, okay, so uh, victory. Victory progress. So now, yeah, we're about to finish off the engine this turn, and then next turn we'll instantly rush this thing. Eighty-one point six percent. Yeah. So, Napoleon. Morocco has adopted order. I like Morocco. They know it where it's at. They know where it's at. Mm-hmm. 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 Of course, you can have my iron and my horses. I think that's just something we do every so often. Ideology adopted. France has adopted freedom. You bastard. After all I've done for you. Influential at 100%. Yeah, where does it say how long it takes? Eight turns. So yeah, we're out of here. Way longer. Yeah, rising slowly with everyone. The release of atomic energy has not created a new problem. It has merely made more urgent the necessity of solving an existing one. Agreed. And that existing one is to stop blowing each other up. Ooh. Alright, so let's add you to the spaceship. And Nikola Tesla. My man, finish it. Next turn we win. G freaking G. It's over. Say bye bye, everybody. Alright, so Mongolia, we just have to wait now. Just a little longer, that's it. And then it's over. It's all over. Turn 344. Not bad. 
Didn't even need that sixth uh, great engineer. Still, kind of disappointing that I couldn't just instantly finish uh, all the spaceship parts in one turn. That would have been hilarious. Um. <clears throat> Familiar, popular, familiar, familiar, familiar. Yeah, anyone who's like, uh, who was it who adopted Order? Morocco. They at least get plus one from me, so they, they might be able to hold out. I hope they can anyway. I hope they can. Processing turn for city states. Okay, game, enough lagging. Uh, yes, I know, there's like 30 some odd city states left. Alright, barbarians. Here it goes. Chairman Calvin, 192480. The SS stasis chamber is complete. Add to the spaceship. Galvin Tremere has won. And there goes the UNSC Unity. You have achieved victory through mastery of science. You have conquered the mysteries of nature and led your people on a voyage to a brave new world. Your triumph will be remembered as long as the stars burn in the night sky. Demographics. <laughs> Number one in everything except approval ratings. Oh well. Rankings. My final score was Abraham Lincoln. What? <laughs> More important than any other. Not bad. Yeah, you achieved the level of Abraham Lincoln. Lincoln. Ooh. Wait. Shit. What? Is that like a replay of the final turn, or did I just literally press a restart button? Oops. Oh, that was totally a restart button. Well, uh, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Oh. Here's a replay. Oh, this is the entire message log. 13 hours and 55 minutes. Galvin Tremere completes the SS stasis chamber. Exit to the main menu. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for watching this series. It's been uh, definitely good fun. It's been the first uh, game of Civilization V I've played, and apparently difficulty in this game is a lot easier than it was in like Civ II and Alpha Centauri, that's for certain. There's no way I should have been able to win a science victory this quickly. I don't even think that would have been possible. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. As always, this has been Calvin, signing off. <laughs>